Well, hello there everyone once again. It's time for another video. This time I'm going to be talking about updating your SimVim X plugin to the latest version. But in this particular case, we are talking about updating from uh, pre version 2.19 to version 2.20 and above. I know many of you have probably gone through this process many times, but there might be some people who maybe version 2.19 was their very first one and they're going to be updating to the latest one. So I know all the instructions are also on the website. Please, like always, read the website, read all the instructions. Everything is very detailed in there. But I make these videos um, as a extra help in case some of you guys are having a little difficulty understanding what the website is trying to explain. And like always, I like to put out my little disclaimer that I am not affiliated with uh, SimVimX or Real Sim Control, and I do not represent them. Uh, anything I tell you on these videos is just my opinion and my way of understanding the way the system works. And uh, like I said before, just trying to make it easier, you know, for everybody to use this amazing product, uh, which I still do believe is the easiest way to build a home cockpit. All right, so there's a lot of changes like I explained in my previous video with uh, version 2.20 and higher. So if you're going to be doing any configuring, um, after March 26 with a new website configurator and the conversion tool uh, you don't have a choice you have to update to version 2.20 or higher uh, otherwise it might not be able to read the configuration files from the previous versions so what you're gonna have to do is update it and then you're gonna have to convert the files which is gonna be another video that I'm gonna make uh, will be the next one after this one alright so now if you have already built your home cockpit and everything is working fine and you never plan to change it again you might be able to stay on version 2.19 but you're always going to get a notification that there's a newer version available when you um, log into the simulator you know I've had some people tell me that when uh, new updates come out that they don't want to update because then it's going to break something and I'll just tell you that I've been using this software since uh, well my first video was five years ago you know and I've updated it countless times and you know yeah once in a while you know there's one little thing here or there that might break but then uh, we mentioned it to Vlad and then he fixes it right away so sometimes you know within the same day so it's not a big deal I've never had any real issues and with my setup and I've had it the same for pretty much you know, actually I've added a lot of things but it's been like that for five years and not once did it break it to the point where it was unusable so don't be scared to upgrade and if you want to get the latest uh, features and and all the benefits of the newest version um, I'm sure you won't regret it okay so we're gonna head on over to the website now and we're going to take a look here if we go to the main page here and uh, we go to the plugin page right here and then you scroll down a little bit you're gonna see right here the latest version available so right now it's version 2.20 a that was released on March 27, 2024. Um, also, if you notice that there is a DAT version that is newer than the plugin, the plugin always includes the latest uh, DAT version, but obviously this one was released actually today. Uh, so you need to download that as well. Okay, now if we go over here to my SimVimX folder here, you'll notice that I transferred all of these from another backup that I had so that's why all of these have a, a date of April 5th but if you noticed um, a lot of my configuration files there they're the old ones and actually this one is very old also but it's it's been updated a little bit um, the DAT file that I have right now is from 10 20 2023 so it's a pretty old one as well um, right now what I'm gonna do is I already have downloaded the, the other version of the plugin but I'm just gonna download the new DAT file so I can have the latest one but I'm gonna go through the whole process with you guys right now okay now if we go to our simulator here you'll notice that I have a warning here or a notification that there is an update for the SimVimX plugin and please visit the website to download it and actually now that I look at that I think the link on there is not correct it's now simvimx.com not simvim.com so maybe we should let Vlad know about that. But anyways, if you close that and then you open up your plugins folder, uh, right now I don't have uh, my board connected at all. So right now it's not going to show that it's connected, but you can see that I'm using version 2.19 right here, right? So now 
we're going to go over to my desktop here. And you cannot do this while the simulator is running. Of course, you have to have it completely off. So I'm actually going to go back to the website and I'm going to kill the simulator while I go through this process with you guys. All right, so the process to do these updates is very simple. I'm sure many of you guys have done this many times. So first of all, I'll click on the plugin here and I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my desktop for now. Um, Simbim X is uh, the folder that gets created. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and download the newest version of the DAT file as well right here. So I'll save that one there as well. Okay, so now I can open up my uh, folder here and I'm going to go to my desktop where I put them. Um, but you know what? Actually, since I already have it I'm, and I want you guys to see the DAT process, I'm not going to go ahead and do that right now. But I already have it right here. Um, the zip version that I just downloaded is this one. But this is the one that I had downloaded before. So once you download it, you're going to extract it. And inside of there, you're going to see another SimVimX folder. What I like to do is, and this one you can see that it has a DAT file of uh, March 27th because that's when I downloaded it. So what I like to do is I just like to select uh, Control A and Control C so I can copy everything. And then I go to my SimVimX folder where, where it is. And then it says do not delete anything from this folder because you're going to need all your previous configuration files. Uh, you can see that I have a Cessna 172 one here that that is uh, the way I renamed them every time I wanted to use a different one and then the PA30 uh, Twin Comanche one right here but I every time I would need to use them I would have to go rename them data.config so I can use that one um, very important make sure that the devices.prf file is here and make sure you do not get rid of it because that one is going to be necessary when you convert the files to the new format and from what I read on the website, the rscplanes.dat file is no longer going to be needed since all the custom conversions are going to be separately in a separate file for each airplane. All right, so now I just go ahead and paste everything in here and let it replace all the files. And there it is. Um, so right here, you can see that the new DAT file didn't come with it. It's still the old one here. So I'm going to go back to my desktop. And I'm going to download that new file here and I'm going to copy it and then go back to my SimVimX plugins folder and I'll just paste it in there and I will overwrite the old one. All right, now that everything is in there, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the simulator again and I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, the simulator just popped up here and as you can see, this time we didn't get any warnings that the plugin has an update available so that's good so like I said the only reason the status box doesn't come up right now is because I don't have my Arduino plugged in here but if we open it up now you can see that we are running version 2.20a which is the latest one available okay so if we go back to the simvim x folder in the x plane plugins folder you'll notice that there's a new folder in there called uh, conv or convert uh, so this is going to be where you're going to save the conversions, the custom conversions for your airplanes in the future. So that's going to become important later in, in the next video and in future videos, okay? I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that to you guys. Well, I guess that's it for this video. Um, it's pretty much uh, that's all you have to do to update the plugin. It's quite simple, actually. And like I said, I'm sure many of you guys have been through this process many times, but maybe a few of you, this will be your first time especially this one that is very important because like I said, you have to update the plugin if you have version 2.19 or earlier, if you plan to change anything in your uh, setup. You know, if you plan to add any, any new assignments, any keywords, or if you plan to do any more custom conversions, you have to use this version now. You cannot still stay with the old version because the whole config file and the custom conversion file format is completely different. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.